Sabres hosting the Predators, and the Predators are plus 105 on the money line. The Sabres are minus 126. The over-under is at 6.5 goals. The Predators getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 230, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one goal, you win. And the Sabres laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 188, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two goals or more. It's supposed to be Soros and Lukanen, but neither of the goaltenders have been confirmed. The Predators are playing a back-to-back. -back. The under is 9-8 and eight in the Predators games, and there was a bunch of pushes on the over-under. And the under is 13-8 and eight in the Sabres games so far this year. The Predators are on a two-game losing streak. They are 2-2 two and two in their last four. The over is hitting their last two, and the over-under is 2-2. Two and two. They scored three goals in a win, three goals in an overtime win. Then they scored one goal in a loss, and then three goals in a loss tonight to the Rangers. For the Sabres, they're 1-3 and three in their last four. They are on a two-game losing streak, and the over is 3-0-1 and one in those games. Two goals in a loss, five goals in a win, four goals in a loss, and then two goals in a loss. I understand that the Predators are playing back-to-backs. I just really don't trust the Sabres. They're just one of these teams, sort of like the Blue Jackets for me, that I want to just call them my Achilles heel. I'm going to take the... Um, Head-to-head, -head, the road team's on a two-game winning streak. The road team is 6-4. and four. The underdog's on a four-game winning streak. The dog is 6-4 and four on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 9-1. and one. There have been five one-goal games in their last 10 meetings. The over is hitting their last three. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the over-under at 6.5 goals is 5-5. Five and five. I'll take the Predators with the money line. I'll take the Predators going, uh, getting the goals. I'll go over in this one because seemingly that last handful of games that they've been playing each other, they've been scoring a bunch, and considering that the Predators played tonight, I'd imagine there'd be a little bit of tired legs. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.